Hello everybody, hey, wake, welcome to a um, TGIF Friday afternoon edition of uh, Keith's Beer Reviews. I think we got the calm before the storm here. We got some uh, pretty wild weather coming in uh, later in the day, I think. We had a bunch of it going north of us last night. We didn't get hit so much, but um, before I started my review, I've had a lot of questions about the sealer I use. Um, so I picked up another one. I kind of wanted another one anyway. Um, this is what it looks like in its packaging. It's the rabbit wine and champagne sealer obviously works for uh, uh, beer bottles too uh, uh, it seals it seals it perfectly just as good as a maybe even better than a than a cap uh, it, it'll keep for days it'll keep for days if it lasts that long but uh, definitely keep for a couple days several several hours for, for sure but um, that's what it looks like in its packaging so um, it's an excellent, excellent sealer for uh, for a bottle if you don't want to finish the whole the whole thing. And I'm going to use mine uh, today anyway, because I got a big bottle too. Um, this is a uh, a new one. It's a one time brew from uh, from Stone. It's their Farking Wheaton Woot Stout. Cool label. I may just uh, I may just uh, keep that uh, keep that bottle just for the label. Um, uh, what it says from the website, it says Will Wheaton, or Brewers, Drew Curtis of Fark.com, Will Wheaton, home brewer slash actor slash pro professional Greek geek, and Greg Co Cook of Stone Brewing Company, Escondido, California. It says Style Imperial Stout, 13% uh, ABV, 65 IBUs. It says Available in a 20 in 22 ounce bottles and draft for a limited time only. I'll never have a Opportunity to have it on draft, I'm sure, but um, uh, it's a one-time brew, so if you see it, uh, pick it up. Um, a little bit more, it says, from the most unlikely yet intensely imaginative trio that is actor and uber geek Will Wheaton, alternative news website Fark.com creator Drew Curtis, and Stone CEO co-founder Greg Cook comes an imperial stout unlike any ever made, brewed with rye, wheat malt, and pecans and partially aged in bourbon whiskey barrels. This viscous yet silken brew erupts with an oaky nutty flavor and rich flavors of vanilla, toast, and bitter chocolate. Enjoy now or celebrate this celebration of nth degree passion and geekery, applied most gracefully to the craft of brewing and collaboration. Drew Curtis, Will Wheaton, Greg, C Greg Cook, Stone Farking Wheaton Woot Stout. Um, I've seen there's a couple other reviews on it. I haven't watched any one. When I have something in the queue for review, I don't watch. I don't watch other reviews of it until uh, until I'm done because I want to keep my opinions my own. But uh, anyway, let's get this 13% uh, uh, bad boy in a glass and see what we have. Nice hiss. Good deal of smoke. I'm gonna use my generic. Uh, Goodwill, I think this is a dollar eighty-eight cent uh, snifter. Probably only do about that much. I'll seal the rest of it up. That's for sure. Uh, we got a dark. That's cola brown. I can't see a bit of light through it. Um, minimal head, but a lot of small bubbles. Um, looks like it might uh, stick around, and leave some lacing. Uh, I didn't see barley mentioned. Um, just uh, wheat and uh, wheat and rye, and the pecans. Sounds like an interesting uh, imperial stout. I don't think I've ever ever had a wheat rye imperial stout. So let's see what let's get a nose on it. As you can see, the head is gone already. Just a light light ring, but it's obviously going to leave some decent lacing down the glass anyway. Thirteen percent. There might be some good alcohol legs, but let's get a nose on it. Oh yeah, you're getting you're getting those dark fruits, um, raisins, plums, uh, along with some uh, bourbon sweetness, um, mild roastiness, a real subtle uh, nuttiness. Um, I don't know how much uh, how many pecans they used. Um, little coffee, definitely getting some alcohol. Thirteen percent. That's not real surprising. Little cherry. Um, the rye comes through, makes it a little more, a little more astringent, and uh, 
than normal, I think. I'm not getting a lot of hoppiness. Um, there's definitely some uh, chocolate and, and bourbon and vanilla there to probably really mellow it out. Um, like I said, just a few light, light nutty notes, but um, yeah. Uh, for 13%, it's, uh, not, it's not too much of an alcohol smell yet. Uh, nicely covered up. Um, let's get a taste on it. Oh wow, really getting those, really getting those dark fruits, particularly that raisin. Um, lots of sweetness. Um, getting some vanilla, probably from those uh, bourbon barrels. Um, decent amount of that oak too, and um, some alcohol. It's um, but not too hot. I mean, it's it's there. You can you can taste it. That's for sure, and you can feel it. Um, a light pecan taste. I'm not getting a lot of the pecan taste. Um, uh, sort of like um, almost like a chocolate covered pecan, maybe. Um, it's um, the hoppiness is pretty mild uh, for a stone beer. It makes it kind of smooth for a stone beer. Um, but um, mouthfeel is. Um, Full side of medium, uh, kind of a creamy, oily uh, feel as it slides down. So let me sit, sip on this a while, and I will come back after a while with a bottle of thoughts and great. Okay, I'm back. It's been oh, 40, 45 minutes or so. Um, as you can see, there's still a lot left. Um, I just been taking my time with this. Um, def definitely a sipper, that's for sure. But um, this is really good. Um, as as it's warmed up, uh, the 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 flavor profile is um, has really changed. Um, you get to you really start to get a nice uh, wheat smell in the uh, in the aroma as it warms up. Um, the 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 rye and, and the whiskey aroma and taste uh, become really come out. Um, pecan kind of uh, disappears. Um, you're getting that uh, light, uh, light bourbon and chocolate, uh, kind of a lingering flavor, and uh, more like a stone beer. It, it becomes as it as it warmed up, um, the the hoppiness uh, becomes uh, pretty apparent. Um, nice little bitterness there, right at the finish. Um, thing is, as the alcohol has come out, it's 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 really come out. I mean, you can taste it, you can really feel it. Um, there's a warmth all the way down, all the way down your throat and into your stomach. I mean, it's just, it just kind of sits there and burns in your stomach. So, um, there's a little too much alcohol for me in this incarnation. Unfortunately, I didn't, uh, I only got the one bottle. Um, but I think with some age, this would, uh, this would really turn into a, an exceptional stout. I mean, it's, it's damn good right now. It's damn near perfect right now. Uh. Uh, it's it's an excellent beer, um, it and it's one you want to taste at different temps because, uh, like I said, the uh, the profile changes. Um, delicious, delicious beer. I, I I'm a porter and stout guy anyway, for the most part. So, uh, you know, I, I I'm really liking this a lot. Uh, if you like porters and stouts, and you can you can still find it because, it, like I said, it was a one time limited release. Um, I'm surprised I got it here in Iowa, but then I got it in at John's in Iowa City, which is uh, one of the best, which is the best place in the state to buy beer, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna give the wish I could round up. It'd probably be about a 9.8, but I can't. It's not a it's not a perfect beer. It's not a 10, but it's damn close. Um, so I'm gonna give the Stone. Fark, Farking Wheat and Woot Stout. I'm going to give it a seriously solid, overly solid uh, 9.5 out of 10. Uh, I think with some age, it'd probably become a 10, but uh, the alcohol is just a bit too much for me, but uh, still an incredibly damn tasty uh, Imperial Stout, that's for sure. So, until next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers. Now I'm going to get home before the, the storms start.
Oh, and it's funny too, this table I'm sitting at, this little shelter out in the park here is in a, in a little grove of pecan trees. The, the table is littered with, uh, with remnants of uh, pecan shells. I know the squirrels have been picking out, that's for sure. I'm going to probably try to pick a few up, uh, maybe get them in a bag before I go home, if, there's a, if the squirrels left me any. And there's some bird shit on the, on the seat here. I'm got to be careful where I sit. Uh, I guess they perch in the top of this little shelter here. But, uh, yeah, stellar beer. So, cheers, everybody. Let's keep drinking these good beers. Ah, oh, just one more thing. There is a long, rambling, kind of funny, interesting story on the back here. Um, these old eyes, that small print, small yellow print on a yellow bottle or on a brown bottle. I'm not going to read it, but um, nice, nice, interesting story about how the beer was. Uh, conceived and concocted and with some quotes from all three of the uh, the people involved um, worth a read if you get the bottle I'm not going to read it here um, but it's it's kind of neat um, so cheers my friends thank you all for subscribing I got the best subscribers on YouTube I know I do cheers to all of you